This weekend, after Donald Trump gets sworn in as president, women's marches are planned for all 50 states and at least 32 countries. Celebrities like Amy Schumer, Chelsea Handler, and Scarlett Johansson are all participating or even leading these marches. So if you're like me and you're going, I wanted to break down the 10 things you need to bring to make it a good one. Let's get into it. Number one, a way to charge your phone. I'd recommend grabbing a mobile charger and a USB cord. I got this mobile charger at Target for $5 and it saved me so many times and a wall plug is not a bad idea either. Number two, an intention. We're there to make our voices heard, so think about what matters to you, whether that's racial equality, equal pay for equal work, or reproductive rights, and go for it. Number three, comfortable, warm clothing. I'm talking flat shoes like sneakers or comfy flat boots. If you're in a place where it'll rain, get the right shoes for that too, because nobody wants soggy shoes. And layers, get that hat, gloves, and extra hoodie under your jacket if it's cold where you are. Number four, positive vibes. It's not a protest, it's about speaking up for the things that we care about, joining forces, and laying down the groundwork for change. Number five, a backpack or maybe even a fanny pack. I know fanny packs used to be so dorky, but both of these items let you really free up your hands. Number six, sun protection. A hat and sunscreen are a must if you're gonna be outside for a few hours. Number seven, your debit card, a little bit of cash, your ID, and a metro card which I'd really recommend taking the Metro if you can because who wants to march all the way back to their car after you've already marched for a cause? Number eight, water and snacks. You want to feel energized, so bring a granola bar or nuts or whatever you like. Number nine, a sign if you want. Be sure to check the guidelines, which should be posted in your city's Facebook event group. For example, here in LA, the wood that holds a sign can't be more than two inches wide. Number 10, a plan and an escape plan. Be sure to go with friends or join a Facebook group. Write down important phone numbers in case you need them and in case your electronics die. Write down the hotel address where you're staying for the same reason. And be sure to just pay attention to see if there's a good spot to catch an Uber in case you need to get out of there. Just be extra prepared. All right, I hope you guys found these tips helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Are you planning on attending the Women's March? And fellas, don't be shy. You guys can join in too. If you guys like this video, give it a like and subscribe for Hollywire. I'm Carly Henderson and I'll see you soon.